New World Order is a group exhibition I specifically curated for the Turbine Arts Fair. Through this exhibition, I wish to showcase the work of a number of serious artists who are also seriously engaged with the world of academia. I think that we are currently experiencing a massive shift in the way in which we think about ourselves as human beings, um, but also in the way that we might think of ourselves um, as future beings who inhabit this planet, each and every context therein. More specifically, I think it is related perhaps to the sense of fragility that we currently experience owing to the COVID pandemic. Um, many people aren't certain what the new normal will be, but one thing is for certain, that we are witnessing a global rethinking of what it means to be a, a human. This has coincided with the massive polit political traumas that we see globally, whether this concerns Black Lives Matter, um, the geological and uh, natural world and our changing relationship to it. What I'm interested in is um, saying, well, we have a number of artists who engage with art not only in relation to the marketplace, but also in relation to serious research that is being done um, in the humanities and even in interdisciplinary uh, fields. So, uh, yeah, I understand from personal experience being both a, an artist and a, a academic that um, the questions that are asked of good artistic research have as much to do with the subject matter of that research as to how it is that you are advancing ideas within your discipline. And it is there that I think many of the artists included on this exhibition actually have a vital role to play because their field of research, whether it concerns gender studies, materiality, uh, studies in race, politics, uh, studies in migration and so forth, um, that links with a teaching philosophy. And we might therefore say that there's a direct connection between the things that they are researching, their methodologies, uh, the ideologies implicit therein, and how they teach their students. And accordingly, we may find traces um, of what the future world of art may hold for us. So it is this, this idea of, the, of a plan, an implicit plan, one that we can trace through the artist's methodology and thinking about their own work in relation to, um, to, to artistic research, but also in relation to the larger world, uh, larger world of art to which they invariably belong that I think we are trying to map through this exhibition. I think it is a wonderfully quirky exhibition, but I think it strikes at the heart of the question about the human condition, the future role of art, and also about what art means to each and every one of us in a very fractured world.